it's Jewel with Live from Sam Quarantine. This is our fourth show. I'm very excited to be joined today by our guest, Misha Collins. Did the adversities in your childhood help you in life and in your career? And how did you see those benefit you? Yes, definitely. I mean, I don't think I would have even chosen the career path of an artist had I not faced the adversity that I had. And also my mother was an artist and she sort of showed me that that was a, uh, a possibility in life. Um, but I think one of the main, one of the big things that I took away from my childhood was um, I, I, I'm not a risk averse person um, because over and over again, the experiences of my childhood taught me that things would work out one way or another even without a, a safety net. And knowing that as, a, as an adult and as a young man, um, it, it enabled me to sort of take leaps and take risks that um, I think a lot of people don't. And so I'm really, really grateful for that. When I was younger, I really think I painted in broad brush strokes my childhood and my mother very heroically. Um, I, I, I saw I, I only, the adventure and um, and only you know the good things that it brought for me as a child. Um, but as I, I got older, um, I started to sort of swing in the other direction and, and think, oh, this was all terrible. I have to rebel against that and be totally different myself. And I think it really is a process of curation and figuring out what worked and what didn't work. And like you say, you know, you don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water. They say, you know, things skip a generation and, and we rebel against our parents. And that is to an extent true, but we also definitely learn from our parents. I mean, that's what the human experience is about. It's about, moving from one generation and to the next and learning and building on what our ancestors have done before us. And, um, and, and that goes for our parents just as well as it does the, you know, the, the whole, the totality of the human family. Mark, I'm so yes. excited to talk to you. For people that are trying to take some concrete takeaways. What do I do? I know I'm emotional. I know my emotions feel overwhelming. My emotions feel overwhelming. What are kind of three things that people can take away from this that can start to digest, of course, along with getting your book and reading it? Thank you. Uh, I think the first thing is, A, giving yourself the permission to feel and giving everybody who you love and even the people you don't love so much, right, the permission to feel. Like just... It's okay to have whatever feeling you're having. Don't judge it. Embrace it. Um, the second thing is I say, you know, be an emotion scientist. Be curious. Um, be open. Um, when you fail, just say, you know what? I failed today, but I can do better tomorrow. And then the last piece, well, there's a lot more pieces, but what I would say is that just work on getting the skills, developing the skills. Build your emotion vocabulary. And, um, and learn strategies to help you regulate. We talked about a lot of them today. We talked about breathing. We talked about self-talk. We talked about reappraising. Those are three like research-based strategies that if you apply them to your life, you'll be healthier, you'll be happier, and you'll be more productive and um, hopefully achieve your dreams.